Let's guide the youngsters and the adults so that they understand that they must only wash that, that which is beneficial. They must only wash that which is going to give them the sunnah in their lives. Put the class in your life. Put sincerity in your life. This can be a way of making sure that people understand the din Islam, the legacy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who always lived. The Quran is giving us good news, good news that guide us in this universe and the hereafter brothers and sisters. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Alhamdulillah al-lazhi ghamara safai daibadihi bila ta'ib taqsisin tala namtinana. Wa allafa bayna qulubihim fasbahu bi ni'matihi ikhwanan. Wa nazal ghilla mzdurin fadallu fi dunya istiqa khidanan. Wa fi al-akhir faqa khullanan. Wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu la sharika lah. Wa nashhadu anna sayyidana wa maulana muhammadan abduhu rasooluh. صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه الذين اتبعوه واقتدوا به قولا وفعلا وعدا وسانا أما بعد فقد قال الله عز وجل في القرآن المجيد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولقد خلقنا الإنسان من صلصال من حمإ مسنون يا هؤلاء الأخوة الكرام أحييكم بأتب تحية تحية أهل الجنة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Brothers and sisters in Islam who are viewing from from all parts of the world, my topic today is called signs of Allah. Brothers in Islam, we should be mindful that Allah blessed us with the numerous uh, numerous bounties in this universe. Allah subhanahu wa taala blessed you and me with so many. Blossoming, blossoming and shimmering bounties for you to, 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 I mean, to appreciate his greatness. The greatness of Mighty Allah Azzajal is that he gives you everything free of charge. You don't have to pay anything for, for whatever Allah SWT has bestowed upon you. Allah says in Surah Al-Hijr, بَعْدَعُوذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ مِنْ حَمَإٍ مَسْنُونٍ The meaning of which is, and it did, we created men from sounding clay. So look at how unique your body is. All these are signs from Allah SWT. Allah has given us hands so that we can eat food. Allah has given us legs so that we can walk. But it's those who walk the talk. Who just, just talk the talk, but they walk the talk. So you as a human being, you must be practical. Don't base your life only on theory. We must always be practical in the way we move, in the way we do our things. So that is to show our appreciation to Almighty Allah Azzajal. And in Surah Rahman, Allah says also, خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ كَالْفَخَارِ That... He, he say, he's, Allah SWT is saying to us in the Quran that He created men from sounding clay. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? So look at Allah SWT. He's created you from a single spam. But how many of us are very appreciative from what, for what Allah SWT is blessing us each and every day? And indeed, it is Allah who brings us from dead form into life form. From life form into dead form. As he says in Surah Rum, يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيِّتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيِّتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَيُحِي الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا وَكَذَلِكَ تُخْرَجُونَ The meaning of which is, he brings out the living from the dead. And the, he brings from what is dead into living form. And he revives the earth after its death. And thus shall you be brought out to be resurrected. So look at how Allah is so great. That Allah is giving each and everything that lives on this earth good life. So this is one of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brothers and sisters in Islam, have we ever appreciated one day that if we see a seed which is in dead form, Allah brings, brings it into life form. So how many of us Midnight, wake up for tahajjud. 
Wake up for tahajjud and we pray that, Ya Allah, inni dhalamt nafsi dhulman kathira. That indeed Allah, I've sinned, I've sinned. I need from you repentance. I need to repent. I need to seek forgiveness from you. So brothers and sisters in Islam, in so many times in our lives, we sacrifice a lot. And we listen to our best friends. Why is it that we don't listen to the laws of Almighty Allah Azza Jal? Many times you ask a person, when last did you hold the Quran? Many of us, we only most importantly hold the Quran in the month of Ramadan. But this is not, this is not for us. Yadu Billah. We seek refuge from Shaitan, the rejected one. It is a duty for every Muslim to love Allah each and every time. It's a duty for every Muslim to always appreciate the greatness of might Allah Azjal. So brothers and sisters in Islam, let's remember that in Surah Al-Rum, Allah says in his beautiful words, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ إِذَا أَنْتُمْ بَشَرٌ تَنْتَشِرُونَ That وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ From his signs أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ Allah is using this word تُرَابٍ Allah is saying that He has created you from soil فَإِذَا إِذَا أَنْتُمْ بَشَرٌ تَنْتَشِرُونَ After that, you become so, you sprout out in the universe. Currently, we have over 5 billion human beings that live on this earth. Look at the, 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 the greatness of Mighty Allah. And Allah knows what, how much or how much oxygen each and every human being lives on in this earth once. Imagine in China, there are over 1 billion human beings that live in China. But Allah knows what, what those human beings require in their life. And in India, we have over 1 billion human beings. And Allah knows how many people need food at the time. How many people need to drink water. So basically, this is the greatness of might Allah Azjal. So brothers and sisters in Islam, let's look at how Allah has also made a, a unique tongue print. Our, all our tongues have got a unique tongue print. At the same time, human beings' fingerprints are not the same. What if Allah created human beings with, this, with typical or a similar fingerprints? But Allah made sure that you and me will got beautiful fingerprints such that even the police, they get identification of all human beings through fingerprints. It is said the brain does not feel pain, but it processes pain. It processes pain. So brothers in Islam, this is from the favors of might Allah Azzal. Which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? 80% of the brain is water. Our brains also, they're like computers. We don't need memory pack. We don't need RAM to say you need 4 gig of memory or 32 gig of memory so that your brain functions. Your br brain is functioning in a very unique way. And you're processing all the information in a very fast way. Your brain is actually better than a computer. But when is the last time you woke up for tahajjud and cried tears, O oh, mighty Allah, Azjal, that, Ya Allah, you are so beautiful, you are so wonderful, you gave me this life. You are the one who gave me all these signs. I'm able to walk. When I walk, I don't open 360 degrees. I walk with, with correct proportion at the right time, in unique space, in, sp in spacing myself in unique degrees. So brothers in Islam, all human beings were created with a unique smell. And human beings also have got what is called air collation. You're sitting right on your bed, but you're able to hear what is happening in another room through what is called air collation. And Allah bless, blessed us with also adrenaline. He gives us the adrenaline, give us the super strength, the super strength to always do all our activities, to wake up for Tawajjur Salah, to wake up for Fajr Salah. So brothers and Islam, which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? Your nose, 50,000 cents. Your nose alone, 50,000 cents. And your nose is a unique industry. Your, just your nose alone is a unique industry. And there's not even one scientist or rocket scientist who can create a nose. Only human beings also shed emotional tears. In the time of sadness or you, you lost one of your relatives, you cry tears. So that shows the message that Allah has bestowed upon you to have the ability to shed emotional tears. Brothers and sisters in Islam, our heart beats over 100,000 times daily. Through the greatness of Almighty Allah, our heart is a unique industry. 
Our heart is a unique company. So, but all these blessings are all from Almighty Allah Azza Jal. Which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? Each and every day we give birth to 100 billion red cells daily. Just imagine, brothers in Islam, when you're wounded or you're injured, this, the, 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 the soldiers of Allah that are in your body, quickly they go to that wound and it gets healed very fast. <laughs> Due to his greatness, someone can be a doctor, brothers in Islam. You can be a doctor today, but you need some years of theory and some years of, of actually teach of actually practicing that, that medical degree or that medical profession in the hospital. So, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not need all this. Allah is already unique. Allah is already eternal. Allah already knows all the medicine that is needed for all human beings in this world. Brothers and sisters in Islam, if doctors were powerful, where is the cure for HIV AIDS? Where is the cure? Where is the cure for flu alone, brothers in Islam? But Allah has provided all the cures for all human beings. Sometimes you find cures for, for, for different kinds of viruses and diseases from sources that are so deep, deep in the sea, deep in the jungle. This is the greatness of Almighty Allah Azzajal. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? Our eyes, brothers and sisters in Islam, the megapixel camera, the very unique camera that can distinguish one million color surfaces. Brothers in Islam, can't you appreciate the grace of Almighty Allah Azzajal? فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Sometimes we have a camera, but the camera does not take real pictures. But our eyes are taking real pictures each and every day. And we're always, our eyes are always processing, looking at things, looking at things. What if we were blind? What if we were blind? فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? Our lungs inhale over 2 million liters of air daily. Our hearing alone is so sensitive, it can distinguish between hundreds or of thousands of different sounds. Look at the hearing. What if you, are not, you didn't have the ability, the ability just to hear? Our sense of touch is so refined. And we, when we smile, brothers in Islam, just a smile. Just a smile. They say that a smile is sadaqa. You exercise that over 30 muscles that exercise the, on, on, on your face. And we produce over 2 liters of saliva daily. That makes it easy for us to digest food. It makes it very, very easy for us to digest food. So, brothers and sisters, which of the favors of your Lord would you, you, would you deny? Our nose is, is, our, is a personal air conditioning system. A personal air conditioning system that Allah gave you for free. But how many people are making shukur each and every day? How many people are, are crying tears that inni dhalam to nafsi, inni dhalam to nafsi, surely I've seen the Allah. So many times we only think Allah on Jum'ah day. So many times we only think Allah on special occasions, especially on big nights, especially on, 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 on time, time of Hajj on, or time of Ramadan. But Allah needs us 365 days. We should be by the brothers in Islam. We are told also that in one square inch of our skin, there are four yards of nerve fibers, 600 pain centers, 1,300 nerve cells, 9,000 nerve endings, 36 heat sensors, 75 pressure sensors, 100 sweat glands, 3 million cells, and 3 yards of blood vessels. That is in a square inch of your skin, just a tiny portion of your skin. So scientists or researchers will have to spend years learning just a square inch of your skin. Which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? So brothers in Islam, where are you, you and me? Where are we going? We should always contemplate and ponder about the signs of Allah. 
what Allah is giving, is giving us in the universe. Look at the universe itself, how so broad. Look at the creations, the plants that are there. Look at the bee, look at the ants, look at the bee, how tiny it is. Look at the, the creation of honey, how Allah <coughs> is making sure that the bees are creating honey from such a tiny component. From such a tiny entity, Allah is creating so unique features. We blink, we blink once every four seconds. Just imagine, there's no human being who is not blinking. So brothers and sisters in Islam, which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? So many blessings, so many favors. So to us, how many salats, how many prayers, how many sacrifices, how many qurbanis, how many sacrifices are we doing only for the sake of Almighty Allah Azzajal? Brothers in Islam, we are told in these beautiful words in Surah Rum from Allah SWT, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ أَلْوَانِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِلْعَالِمِينَ That وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ From his sign, خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ the creation of the skies and the earth. And different tongues that we speak. Brothers in Islam, it is said in the universe there are over 6,000 languages. Over 6,000 languages in this universe. And if you go to Nigeria, they've got different tongues that they speak. If you come to South Africa, they speak Kosa, Zulu, Pondo, Shishangani. And if you go to China, they speak Chinese, Niha. If you go to, to, to Japan, they speak Japanese, Arigato. If you go to, to France, they speak French, Merci, Sava. If you go to Arabic countries, Assalamu Alaikum. So these are different tongues that Allah has bestowed upon mankind at large. So why are we not making shukur? Wakhtilaf al sinatikum. Wa alwanikum. And Allah also has created many designs black, white, pink, and yellow. What if Allah has cre did create a dark nation? When I mean a dark nation, I mean only a black race. Wherein if you want to see what's going on, you have to take a torch and look around. But Allah made sure there are different colors in this world. So that he shows his uniqueness as a good designer, as a good creator. Inna fi dhalika la'atin lil alimin. And surely these are great signs for a nation of sound knowledge. So brothers and sisters in Islam, let's be mindful that you and me, we got a homework in our lives. Let's make sure we make shukur to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all these favors that Allah has bestowed upon us. Allah is saying this beautiful words also in the Quran. That from his signs, manamukum. Manamukum means sleep. Sleep in itself, brothers in Islam, is like death. Sleep is a cousin of death. But Allah is making sure that each and every day we rise up in the morning. But how many of us are waking up for tahajjud and fajr just to think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Bilayl wa nahar. Obtigha'ukum min fallih. And we go out to seek these favors from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has made it such we go around and search for these favors from, 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 from Him. Inna fi dhalika la'atil li qawm yisma'un. Surely in this is a great sign for a mankind that listens. Li qawm yisma'un. For a qawm or a nation that listens. Fa bi ayy alaa. Which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? So brothers and sisters in Islam, let's be mindful that on the day of Yawm Al-Qiyamah, on the day of judgment, Allah is saying, يَوْمَ نَقُولُ لِجَهَنَّمَ هَلِمْ تَلَتُ وَتَقُولُ هَلْ مِنْ مَزِيدُ The day that we're going to say to Jahannam, هَلِمْ تَلَأْتِ Do you need some of those people that did not listen? Are you fool? Do you need some of those, or those people that didn't, that didn't, that didn't listen to, 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 to the laws of Allah SWT? That didn't fast in the month of Ramadan? That didn't they perform the, 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 the Fahaj in the Ayam Al-Hajj? That didn't listen to the laws of Almighty Allah SWT? and Nabi Muhammad those people are arrogant do you need some of those people and Allah is going to say and we have made paradise to be very close means not very far so brothers in Islam 
Sometimes if you want to see the people that are always close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at those people that wake up for their Tajj Salah. Look at those people that wake up for their Fajr Salah, that go for the Isha Salah. You will find in every masjid, these are the people that always are in, in the straight path, are always in the Surat al-Saqim. So in your life, Try by all means to emulate the lifestyle of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you emulate, you are also going to be among the mutaqin, among the past people, brothers and sisters in Islam. It's the Quran continues to say, "Hada ma tu'adun li kulli awabin hafid," and this is what you promise for the awabin hafid, for those people that kept the laws of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So, brothers and sisters in Islam, let's try by all means to follow the laws of Almighty Allah Azza wa May Allah subhanahu wa bless all of us to be always in the Surah Al-Mustaqim. Wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. تخرج من دنيا الورى بالحسب بالعلم بالأدب